Hi, my name's Bob Grunier, and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. So what you are looking at on the screen is two samples from one piece of aluminium foil. Aluminium for those in the States that I ran on the 28th, the evening of the 28th of March 2022. And on the day of the 29th of March 2022, I put onto the table here of an SEM. And this enabled me to look at the samples and what you are looking at on the left is the rough side of the aluminium and on the right the shiny side with the yin yang figure eight dimples over the area. Okay, so looking at a, a section of this up close, this is on the smooth side, I can see this is a dimple, this is a peak, this is a dimple, and this is a peak, and this is in secondary electron uh, image, so it just shows you the geometry in high detail. And I'm going to do a sequence of videos on this analysis, and this experiment I ran for double the length of the first experiment that I ran and have previously shown analysis of, and that was 360 seconds. The uh, first uh, analysis was of 180 seconds and so yeah this was 360 seconds and so that is about half the sample time exposure to the ultrasonics that was used by my colleague Alan Goldwater at his Magic Sound Lab when he produced the iron rich crenellated spheres. So I have somewhere between the initial test that I did and his test. Okay, and so this is the first video. And what I want you to see is that on this shiny side, we can see the shiny side, uh, it has these lines in it uh, from the manufacturing process. You can see here, and uh, here are the cracks in the top and bottom of the pit uh, and the peak, the pit and the peak. And when you look at the surface here, uh, it is relatively unscathed. And the reason I'm showing you that is because um, I was looking at another area this afternoon and I came across something rather interesting. Okay, so this is this other area in question and I'm going to talk about this feature here and this feature in the center of here and this feature over here in another video but what I wanted to show you is that in this highly uh, interacted area there is something very very interesting to me and actually in other areas now first thing I must clean up is that uh, or clear up rather, is that these blobs that are coming through these pits are actually the carbon tape. So if I zoom into those, uh, you can see here this blob coming through here, this blob coming through here, this blob coming through here, and this blob coming through here. This is carbon tape, which is how the sample is mounted. Okay. But the thing that I wanted to draw your attention to is something uh, which we have seen quite a few times in other experiments and I do want to verify this so I hope to this week actually record uh, a whole experiment next to an SEM uh, beginning to end uh, testing the source aluminium on there get some distilled water because this is using tap water so distilled water to try and remove sources of potential error or aggregation um, challenges to see if uh, there are still the synthesis of materials because I mean if you actually look at what's going on here and again we're going to discuss this at another time but in this peak whatever this is coming out here and you will find out in a future video it is blending smoothly into the top of this peak and this is a feature we see regular with what I am calling coherent matter in my view but other than what looks like this smooth material here, this more affected area, clearly this is more affected than this because we've just got the peak and the trough with some damage, but we have these big crevices coming up here and uh, merging between uh, these areas. The thing that struck me was 
in the side walls of these structures. And if I go in, here I'm looking at this at 200%, what do we see? But we see our triangles, our triangles, our triangles, our triangles. And they seem to have this vector. Now, I'm going to let you into a little secret, or rather belief of mine, that I believe these triangles, which uh, I talked about before, and we observed in the Hutchison knee sample, the iron sample, the aluminum sample uh, from 2007, the large sample. This is in lion in the side of the cracked quartz. So we have this triangle here, we have this triangle here, and these are two brittle materials. So I'm saying you get a hard uh, um, structure here, but in this very much larger structure, I believe you get a slightly more softer one in the al aluminium. And then they're related to a vortex structure here. And I saw these essentially after this had come to me in a semi-conscious state. And here is our pseudo-monopole created by the vortex that this uh, soliton produces. And it focuses material. And later in this year at Sochi, so I drew this in uh, January in 2018, I came across um, work which pointed to this work from 2008, which is a derivation of the Dirac monopole structure, where you have uh, the electrons forming pairs and uh, going down and cohering and forming Cooper pairs to the magnetic core, and then they come out in a fan, and this is one explanation for these sort of structures that we see going on in various Lena uh, uh, experiments, particularly in the work in Russia. So I actually discussed this in a video called Triangle and Spirals. And if we go back to our thing here, I believe these triangles are equivalent. And so how are these forming? Well, aluminium is just one single isotope. And so somehow I believe these are cohering and you're getting the electron flux forming these monopoles and they seem to be fairly regularly spaced although when it gets very intense they're kind of overlaying and I think eventually they'll just tear the matter apart. So I want to verify this um, hopefully this week and see if this is actually something that is repeatable. But it's not just here. Um, if you look over in other areas uh, you see them here not so much uh, because it's in the sort of badlands or whatever it is between structures. It's not quite so clear, um, but uh, if I zoom out actually. So you can see over on this area here, so if we zoom in there, so we were just looking at this area here. I'm going to look at this area here. Okay, so I believe we are having these triangles. Now they are cutting through the material in in various ways so you would have a round hole if the monopole is you know into the material or out of the material but if it's uh, in the plane of the material along the plane then you would get this triangle structure that we've seen in these kind of things here and here and here in various different systems okay so um yeah, that's that's kind of what I wanted to show you in this video. I'm quite excited about it because uh, you, you, you can almost see a, a tail of these things here. Um, and so I'm, I'm going to be on the lookout for them. You see the triangles here, but it's, it's whether it's going into the page. Now, it could just be holes that happen to be forming in these areas. Uh, that certainly what appears to be happening. But it is this very distinct... I think golden ratio triangle that is going on and I think we're going to see a lot more of this kind of thing in the future um, or maybe I'm wrong um, but I just want to, wanted to get it out there get it out there anyway there are uh, some very 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 interesting uh, observations with this second experiment uh, particularly with this uh, relating to Matsumoto's 
work which now we all have we can look at and what's going on here with the original indium test uh, that was done and uh, there's another sample on here that we're going to look at where we are going to see this kind of blending nature and I think we'll be able to explain possibly tomorrow in my view where my current thinking is on how these structures lead to clusters that then lead to these uh, iron rich crenellated spheres so I think uh, we're going to get to the the bottom of how uh, these coherent matter systems cluster and lead to these structures and potentially the synthesis of these things but this for me is a huge win here uh, today just looking through this sample so thank you very much for your time and I will see you in the next video